Make today iconic. And that'll do it. The Golden State Warriors advance to their fifth consecutive Western Conference Final. For the second straight year, they eliminate the Rockets. Is there something about either the way you guys play or what you can take from these experiences that gets you the next step that they've stopped each time? Uh, I know what we need to do. I know exactly what we need to do. Just All I know is that James Harden is on the regular season Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Not on the... In Houston, yeah. you can't beat a team like Golden State with a one with a one man army. Can't do it. Can't do it. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports here with a Houston Rockets Super Real Estate Rebuild Part One of this series. Here are the objectives for the Rockets. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss a video. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, I do use Trade Override for my realistic rebuilds. Main reason for this is not to make it easier or cheat. I try to make as realistic a trade for both teams, depending on the situation in the game. And I explain why I make these trades at the end and during the trade. So that is just my little spin on my rebuilds. And here is the roster. Rockets coming fresh off of a second round exit against the Warriors in six games. Blew a big chance. KD got injured in game five. We're not able to close out that game. And then Curry just went bonkers in the second half of game six. So that's the roster. And we'll see what we can do with this team. I am also going to be using storylines for the NBA draft. And what this does, it just mixes up the ratings. So I'm not going to know exactly what overall Zion is or what his potential is. So this makes it more interesting and more realistic. But in this finals, it looks like the Nuggets and the Raptors or what 2K thinks is going to happen, but probably not. And the Raptors do win the championship. Kawhi Leonard fresh off a game winner. NBA Draft Lottery is actually tomorrow, so going to be interesting who gets the number one pick in this simulation. Looks like the Bulls get it, but I am going to be making a pretty controversial trade here. And Clint Capella, I have a strong take on him. He's not really that good. I think he's really overrated. He's a system player. I think on any other team, he would just be a normal center, gets you rebounds, plays defense, and just not really an offensive game. So we're going to trade him to the Kings. They need a franchise center, and we get a first round pick. So I don't know how we are able to land Jackson Hayes in the second round, but with the Kings second round pick that we got in that trade, we're going to select Jackson Hayes. I don't know how far he can fall down in the actual draft, but we're going to pick him up here. He'll replace Capella. And this is going to be the roster. With the Capella trade, we added Bogdanovich and Bielisa, two really good three-point shooters. So that was the main focus. I wanted to get some shooters for Capella. And then center-wise, I think Jackson Hayes is going to be the perfect replacement for him. Not going to be as effective because he is a rookie, but two, three years, he's going to be probably the same as Clint Capella and plus Capella was making so much money for what he does so we're gonna free up a little bit of cap just to bring other guys in and same coach same system so here at the all-star break James Harden obviously an all-star but look who else made it Clint Capella pretty interesting right there and the MVP for this season is gonna be Nikola Jokic yeah, almost averaged a triple-double. Zion on the Grizzlies, Rookie of the Year. Mike Malone, Coach of the Year for the Nuggets. All NBA teams looking like this. No Harden on second or first, but he is on the third team. A little bit of a down year, especially coming off of that 36-point-per-game season. But Chris Paul averaged 2.2 steals a game. Not bad for Chris Paul. Obviously not in his prime. Going to start regressing, so I don't, I don't think we can trade Chris Paul, so he's probably going to be here for the remainder of his contract and then yeah i like how this team's looking second seed in the west so it looks like the trades did help us out a little bit but we're playing the grizzlies with zion in the first round so you know how 2k does and the kings were actually pretty good four seed in the west clint capella coming off a really good season so i don't know hopefully the trade works out for both teams but it's looking pretty good for the kings right now via leaps that was actually really good for us shooting wise and scoring wise jackson hayes I like the blocks, I like the defense, but we were the number 10 offense and on defense, top 5. 
our main goal in these playoffs is to get to the conference finals because then we have a shot probably kd left the warriors as you guys can see they're down 3-0 to the blazers but we're down 2-1 and we're down 3-1 And we're gonna be eliminated in the first round. Not what I wanted, not what I expected. A huge letdown, but I mean, there's not really many trades we can make at this point. Some huge decisions coming up in the next couple of years, but it's not looking good right now. Raptors and the Thunder in the finals. Game seven and the Thunder win Westbrook finals MVP. Draft lottery for this season. We don't have the Kings pick in this draft. We have it next draft. And we do have our own first round pick though, so that's pretty good. And we are gonna select Tyler Hero out of Kentucky here. Very versatile scorer. I think drafting him and letting him learn under James Harden will be really good. We'll unlock his potential a little bit more than on any other team. But this is gonna be the roster for this season. They make a couple of signings, re-signed a couple of guys, but we are literally capped out to the max. If I would have kept Capella, like we wouldn't have been able to bring back PJ Tucker or Eric Gordon. That's how much money these two guys are making, Chris Paul and Harden. Like we have absolutely no cap at all. And Chris Paul still has, I believe, two seasons left under contract. So we'll see what happens with that. But we are gonna send Tyler Hero to the G League. Let him progress a little bit. So all-stars for this season, James Harden was the captain and Chris Paul actually making an all-star team, not bad at all for Chris Paul. And Jokic is going to win back-to-back -back MVPs. Good signs there for Jokic, Jaden McDaniels rookie of the year, Jokic most improved and MVP. Kind of weird, but Harden all-NBA first team definitely picking it up and improving himself. Hopefully we did better as a team, but I think we did. Chris Paul all-defensive second team again. So he's still a pretty good defender. At least he's giving us that. Second seed again. We were fighting for the number one seed, but in the last game we kind of choked. And we are playing the Blazers in the first round. So Harden, we saw his stats, Eric Gordon. I mean, we've got a lot of shooting around Harden, which I think is good. Top six offense and top three defense. We've got to get to at least a conference finals now. First round against the Blazers, we lose game one yet again. Tie it up 1-1. Come on, we gotta win three straight. There's one. There's two, can we win in five? Thank you, we're playing the Clippers. I don't know who they have, but Harden with a 31 point game. The elite to 20 points, not bad at all. Three for six from three. Lillard tried his best, was not enough. They didn't really add anyone. So we're playing the Clippers and they're a very well coached team and they have Kevin Durant so I don't know how this is going to go at all. 1-1 one, one, though, hopefully it at least goes 7 games, I mean we are the higher seed. 3-1 though, are we going to lose in 5? You know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And Kevin Durant is yet again going to do it to us in the playoffs. Ah, Chris Paul had a double-double. We just need like a third star on this team. But, yeah, Eric Gordon absolutely choked in this game. I mean, they had Montrezl Harrell. Kevin Durant didn't even play that good. So the next offseason is going to be huge. I don't know if we fire Mike D'Antoni. I might just play it out until CP3's contract is done. Celtics going to win the finals. Kyrie Irving finals MVP. Draft lottery, and we do have the Kings pick. It is in the lottery. It is top five protected, but we are going to get the pick at 13. Also have our own pick. So I'm going to be making a trade here. Bogdan Bogdanovich, who we got in the Clint Capella trade, has two years left on his deal. To the Heat for Josh Richardson. A little bit of an upgrade. He's not that good in 2K. Plus, he's not even starting. They, they drafted Scotty Lewis, his replacement. They also got Justice Winslow, so they've got a lot of wings on this team. So they are rebuilding. We give them a first round pick, also a second.
And with the Kings pick, the highlight of that Capella trade, we're drafting Scotty Pippen Jr. out of Arizona, 6'3 point guard. Hopefully he can learn under CP3 and then become Harden's backcourt teammate. And then it is time. Last year of Chris Paul's contract, $44 million for a 36-year-old. Not good at all. Eric Gordon in his last year of his deal. P.J. Tucker has one year left and a team option. So this might be the last season. This might be the end of an era with the CP3 Harden experiment. I guess you could say that it hasn't really worked out. So I will have a poll so you guys can vote on what direction we should go with this team. Should we bring back everyone? Should we go rebuild? Should we just sign another star? All stars looking like this. Harden again is the captain, but CP3 is pretty much in full decline at this point not really producing and Nikola Jokic third MVP in a row absolute beast on the Nuggets Isaiah Todd rookie of the year Giannis defensive player and Quinn Snyder coach of the year Harden again all NBA first team I mean you cannot argue with him being one of the best players in the regular season but he has not done anything in the playoffs and Tyler Hero all rookie second team I will take that he might be Harden's replacement. I don't know if we decide to move on from Harden, but we didn't make the playoffs. Bro, you're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? Come on, bro. We gotta get you together, boy. How did we not make the playoffs? We were the 12th seed in the... Uh, what? We still have James Harden. James Harden alone could get you to the playoffs. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think we're done with this era. This might be the end of an era. We might go rebuild. We might just trade all of our picks for a star. I don't know. You guys got to let me know in the poll. But this has been a complete failure. I mean, the Hawks are getting to the finals. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know where we're going with this team. Complete fail. I don't know if Train Capella did this or what. But So I'm going to show you guys the situation we've got going. We've got a lot of old guys on this team. CP3, Eric Gordon, PJ Tucker, Harden, all in their 30s. We also got a couple of young guys, Scotty Pippen, uh, Tyler Hero, so Jackson Hayes even. So we could go rebuild. We could bring back everyone. We could trade for someone. I don't know. Let me know in the poll what you guys think. But in part two, we'll decide, and I'll just do whatever gets the most votes. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on the road to 400 subscribers.